Lisegang rings. Attention, ammonia is toxic if inhaled, can damage the skin and eyes and is very toxic to aquatic life. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the recreation of this experiment. First 2.5 grams of gelatin and 0.5 grams of magnesium chloride are mixed with 50 milliliters of distilled water. After 10 minutes, the gelatin is soaked and the mixture is heated until the gelatin dissolves. The solution must not boil because otherwise it won't become firm again. At the end the solution is clear. Now several test tubes are filled up to two-thirds with the solution. The formation of bubbles should be prevented in this step. Because of curiosity, some universal indicator that had been extracted from pH paper with water was added to the rest of the solution. The rest of the solution was added to a large test tube. The test tubes are left to cool until the gelatin has become firm. This takes about one hour. Then concentrated ammonia was added on top of the gelatin. After that the test tubes are closed. At the boundary layer magnesium hydroxide is formed immediately. In the next two to three hours the magnesium hydroxide layer only becomes larger. In the following ten hours the formation of separate layers can be observed. In the following days the distance between the layers becomes larger. These layers are called Lisegang rings, which have been first described by Raphael Lisegang in 1896. These can also be found in nature where they form in porous rock. This is the result of the six days. The irregularities of the rings in the test tubes with the indicator are possibly formed due to the presence of bubbles. For the indicator solutions should be preferred that are more concentrated. In the first attempt phenyl red was used which indicates the progress of the ammonia and the gelatin well. One of the few things that can destroy the rings is when the gelatin becomes too hot and liquefies again. Here the test tube was accidentally heated by the strong spotlight. There are several theories to describe the formation of the rings. An easier one says that the particles are moving to one place because of a fixating mechanism and accumulate at this point. The original Lisegang rings were prepared with sodium chromate in the gelatin and a silver nitrate solution instead of ammonia. Brownish red silver chromate is formed in this case. Lisegang rings can be prepared with several compounds. For this two soluble substances are used that react to form an insoluble precipitate. This was the formation of Lisegang rings. I hope you enjoyed. Please rate and comment.